nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen We are getting ready to uh, get out of here sitting at this truck stop pretty much all day yesterday so uh, it's time to get out of here yeah that's right <clears throat> you know that uh, moving truck or whatever has been parked in here for a while I don't know why they got a park right here, but I think they got a park up here. <sighs> Anyways, we've been sitting here all day at this truck stop yesterday. <clears throat> As you probably know by now, we did not get a reload, so only, well, we did get a reload, but only to pick up today, so. We gotta go 10 miles that way, and that's where our pickup is. Yeah, <clears throat> that sucks, but what can you do, right? Wasted pretty much a whole day. All I did is drive about 45 miles up to here. That's it, you know. So, anyways. Let's go pick up the load and then see if we have a better day today. This is it guys. We have just gotten our load on. We got a uh, fairly good load, okay. It's only like uh, 10,000 pounds. Or not quite 10,000 pounds. So that part is good. We got some plastic chairs on. need to sit well I got plenty of chairs <laughs> I could probably have a good party and have a chair for everybody <laughs> yeah I probably could invite all of my friends and still had and have enough chairs but anyways that's done at least it didn't take long to get loaded so now we're gonna put the hammer down and try and get home that's right. So let's get on down the road and let's have ourselves a fantastic day. Well, we had a little bit of a pit stop here and we just got back onto the interstate. That's right. And we're putting the hammer down and getting some good miles in. We have to actually, if we want to be home tomorrow night, which I don't have to be home tomorrow night, but uh, I want to be home tomorrow night. And so, uh, if I do want to be home tomorrow night, I gotta max out my 11 hours today and tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I might even go over 11, and that will be if I enter Canada, I'm allowed to drive two more hours, right? Because I'm allowed to drive 13 hours, so... Uh, the challenge is gonna be getting through Chicago today. That is going to be our challenge today. So, uh, I don't know. We got uh, about three and a half hours up to Chicago yet. And it's uh, 12 o'clock right now. I just had my half an hour mandatory break. So, we are good to go. So, that's going to be about 3.30 this afternoon by the time we roll into Chicago. And it's Friday. So, we can suspect some traffic. But, uh, hey... That's the way it is. Uh, this truck here seems to be going just a tiny little bit slower than me, so I'm gonna speed up and get around them. And that way I'm not too close behind them all the time, you know? Yeah. But anyways, we'll just have to deal with the traffic down in Chicago. And goal is to hurry up and get through there as soon as I can but uh, if I can't beat 
the rush hour, I can't beat the rush hour, you know? That's just the way it's going to be. But. Anyways, it looks like it uh, is going to be sunshine towards Chicago. I was talking to a friend of mine there earlier, and uh, he's there on the other side of Chicago there, and he said it's sunny over there, so... I'm suspecting that I'll be seeing some sunshine later on today, unless things change. But other than that, we should probably see some sunshine yet. Yeah. I'm happy though, at least I'll be home Sunday. If I can make it home tomorrow. It's going to be depending on everything, right? On the weather, traffic. How far I can make it today. All of those things play a factor into it, right? But we will try our darn near best to make it happen. Yeah. So let's get on down the road and let's see what kind of day we will have. Well guys, we've been cruising for a good while already. And it has started to rain now. I'm a little... Uh, what should I say? I'm looking for the right word, but uh, I'm a little worried. That's the word I'm looking for. That it might turn into ice and ice rain and snow and slush and all that the further I get towards Chicago. It's probably going to get colder for further uh, west I go, right? That's uh, going further towards home, right? And. Uh, that worries me a little bit, but hey, that ain't gonna do me no good, right? It's gonna come no matter what, if I like it or not. But I talked to somebody earlier, and it seems like uh, they're gonna be in the area of uh, Chicago area, where I'm gonna be. And uh, we're talking about maybe meeting up. Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to say who it is because uh, I got to wait to make sure that we're actually meeting up, right? Don't want to say here, sit here and say that that's that that person we're meeting up with, and then uh, later on it didn't come through or something like that, you know? Because then I got to go and erase this clip or whatever, you know? But anyways, it's been a good day though. We've got some good miles in already about two o'clock in the afternoon right now and uh, we got 530 kilometers in today so that's pretty good considering we had to load this morning so we are doing fantastic on that part so let's just continue on rolling and uh, see where we can end up tonight that's right alrighty guys we are here at Gary Indiana at the Petro truck stop and uh, we're gonna go inside right now and uh, I just talked to the uh, person that's gonna be meeting up with me over here they're saying they're only 15 minutes away from here 15 miles actually so depending on the traffic it could be a little more than 15 but uh, anyways we're gonna go inside and then wait for that particular person to show up so we'll uh, see you guys all in a little bit hey guys here we are Let's see who it is. Hey, <laughs> hey. Trucker Jukebox. Hey, hey, how you been? I was so excited. I yeah. just about got pulled over on the way here. <laughs> no I had way. the lights flash on me. Oh, really? And he was just telling me to slow down. <laughs> it's only 55 in Illinois. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. They go crazy, eh? They do, yeah. Yeah. Do. Absolutely. So let's go get something to eat. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I like that nice. Thing. Yeah, I like that hat. You know, it's funny, if I'm carrying the camera, yeah. they're all automatically saying, are you recording me? But when yeah. it's on the hat, yeah. but, and two, I forget it's up there. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. So I'm just walking around. <laughs> like nothing happened, right? Yeah. Anyways, we'll go in here and grab a bite to eat. Then we'll be back. Well, guys, look at this. We are getting ready to have some dinner with the almighty jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So he's uh, having the same thing as me, eh? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah same thing. Look at that. So we will get to eating before it gets cold. Oh, we are just about done eating, eh? Yep. Yep. 
He beat me. <laughs> yep. not, not physically, though. <laughs> he got a bigger mouth than me. He could shove it in quicker. <laughs> like it's starting to get dark out there, eh? It is. It's either that or it's dark windows. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's starting to get dark. It's really uh, droopy out here. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. overcast. Yeah, that it really is. Yeah. So where about did you pick up your load? I picked it up... Uh, Lamont. La oh, okay. Lamont. Which is uh, right there uh, off of 55. Uh, and it's sugar. Oh, okay. Sugar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can grab it. You can grab this as well. I don't know I was going to get you a refill oh, first. Oh, no, I don't need no refill. I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Oh. Enough sugar for today. <laughs> And you still, you know, yours, right? I'm good, yeah. And I got, you got, you fixed me up right here. Oh. Oh, you can have my plate, though, if you want. Oh. You want my plate? Oh, I'll tell you. There you go. All right, thank you. Yeah. I thought she was asking me if I wanted a refill. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and get to Portage yet tonight. That's probably about a four hour, four, a little over four hour drive yet from here to there. You know what the weather doing up there? Maybe even more. Because I know it's three. No, maybe not. It's about three hours from South Beloit to Black River. And then it's probably an hour and a quarter from Black River back to Portage. So that's probably about one and three quarters probably from South Beloit. That's probably two. Two hours from uh, two to two and fifteen, something like that, from here to South Beloit. So yeah, probably about four hours. Now. So where do you stay at the Petro? Yeah, I like that Petro. It's big parking up there. Oh, a lot of parking. parking. Yeah. Parking, yeah. Yeah, and you can actually the way they got that parking lot set, you can nose in. Yeah, yeah, you can and nose in. You can in actually back out. Yeah, exactly, and you won't have a problem backing out usually. You know. I think it was two, three years ago though. If you remember, and I, you were driving there. Yeah. Chicago actually got a snow blizzard. They call it a blizzard, but I remember all through there uh, got a lot of snow, and I got as far as Portage. And okay. even even that was full that day because of all that snow. Oh, it gets full sometimes. Yep. Even at night, sometimes it gets full, depending on what day of the week. Yep. If there, is, because there is a lot of factories actually around that area. Yeah. Because we pick up around that area sometimes. Yep. <coughs> Anyways. So, are you guys going to have a barbecue this weekend? I'm not sure yet. Uh, I haven't decided on that. Yeah. Usually that's a, a last minute thing almost for us. <laughs> not last, last minute, but usually... Yes. I'm sorry. Quick question, Norish. Um, together or separate? Together. Okay. Yeah, yeah and so uh, usually, usually like maybe tomorrow we plan something, but Sunday it's kind of... A little hard, you know. A lot of people want to go home early and then they have to be back at work on Monday, right? So I have to ask you because if he tells me, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I stock my truck up with food because I got to be prepared. Because <laughs> when I start seeing his barbecue, I start to get hungry, and I'm not exaggerating about that, I'm being honest about that. So when he starts posting pictures, I start eating sandwiches. <laughs> You gotta eat something. I gotta right? eat something. Yeah, I gotta eat something. <coughs> <coughs> I tell yeah. you, I've never had your barbecue. No, I never no. tried it. But word of mouth is yeah. the best advertising. Yeah. And when you tell us how good it is, and other people are telling us how good it is, yeah, it's gotta be good. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have my friend Barry. He's he's a Canadian, you know. And He's never had barbecue like that before, and I mean, he obviously enjoys it very much. So, oh, yeah. thank you, ma'am. Do I pay you or do I walk? Oh, up? at the register. Oh, watch. <laughs> she almost got a close, close, yeah. a close up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't knock that camera off. That's a six hundred dollar camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I come prepared because 
I, I don't have the big battery in my heel. Oh, yeah. I brought the other battery. Just in case, yeah. yeah. And they're both, I can either change them out or I can just... Yeah, turn the other one on, yeah. Yeah, we can get a little bit of a... Picture on picture. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Hi, guys. <laughs> 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 I always carry me a couple. I think it was Pill Raider when I met him up in Effingham. Yeah. I had, well, I didn't have the hat cam then. I had the GoPro in my hand. I had this one in my pocket. I had the uh, Fuji around my neck. Yeah. And he says he, he he's coming. How oh, did he word that? I want to word that exactly. He, he, he's, he's coming with enough cameras or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, like a TV show or something. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and then as we're walking back, then a couple of people noticed. Carrying cameras. Yeah. That that one guy actually walked up to us. Yeah. And uh, he said, well, "What's the camera for?" I said, "Oh, we have a YouTube camera." Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I said, "Yeah, that guy over there, that's Pill Rider. He'll be coming out over here here in a minute." And come so the when Pill Rider comes, this kid is walking up to us, and uh, he's taking a picture of Pill Rider's sign on his truck. Yeah. You know that says Pill Rider. And, uh, uh, it was pretty cool. I think we got, I, well, I, I'm pretty sure Pill Raider did, <laughs> but I think we both came to the Oh, yeah. Just because I walked across the parking lot with the camera, <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Now, I had a, a question the other day on my channel, uh, how many YouTube shirts I have. <laughs> I get, can I answer that for him? I think I got this right, right? <laughs> Go for it. He's got two shirts. But he's got three people in the family, each got two shirts, that two or six shirts, right? I got, I got more shirts than that. Oh, do you? Yeah. Uh, not at our home. Okay, on board. No, I have given some out. I know you gave a hand out. Oh, Big Jerry. He, he Big Jerry won, won the one. And then uh, uh, Ronnie. I saw that picture. Yeah, yeah. He looked so awesome. He had the hat on, the shirt on. Yeah. He looked like a yeah. Yeah, I a trucker Rudy fair. I don't think anybody knows about this, but uh, JP also has one as well. Does he? Yeah. Now, how does the trucker you bus got to go around? I, I ain't never gonna win a contest, but <laughs> what, what is this? Uh, maybe can I buy one or something? Oh, definitely. You can definitely make that happen. Yeah, yeah I would like. Uh, yeah. Now, <clears throat> every time I went into and and, and you know that thing that you go in to get the shirt yeah every time I actually designed the shirt for myself yeah and uh, for some reason the price tag was one hundred and eighty seven dollars and sometimes I said what oh, oh, yeah, long down. <laughs> and, it's like, no, and then I was and then what I found out I did not know if you're not careful when you're ordering something like that I hit four oh yeah I hit quantity four yeah yeah I'm thinking, oh, ah Okay, so I all I gotta do it's still in there. I just gotta go in there and cancel Change, out three yeah, well, or yeah. keep two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That freaked me out. I don't know why mine would pay that much money for a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Man. Well, I think we should get out of here. I got a few miles to we run. Still yet. gotta go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think now it's already five o'clock. So by the time we get out of here, it's probably five thirty already. You so had to wait on me. So no, yeah. not really. I mean, not. Probably maybe five minutes. Oh, okay. Right, so we'll go outside and then we'll do a little bit out there and we'll we'll uh, see you out there. Or, yeah, I was going to get the yeah, little yeah, dogs go ahead, there, go ahead. if you don't mind. No, no, I don't mind. <laughs> hey guys, look at these little guys. <laughs> they want to play, eh? Yes. Huh? What? <laughs> you want to just play I with you? Like Tell him to yeah. say hi. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Go there. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> yeah, anyways, we are getting ready to get out of here, so uh, we'll say goodbye right. to uh, Mr. Jukebox. It was a pleasure. Yeah, same Definitely. to you. And thank you for you. having supper with me. Yeah, no problem. And uh, if man is putting, putting me uh, on the, the right narrow path, or <laughs> however you say that, the right narrow path. So. Oh, that's good. Anyways, we had a good time meeting him. Yes. And uh, so we'll get back on the road here. Hopefully the traffic has died down now, so we'll be back later on tonight. Well, guys, as you can see, we are done for today. <clears throat> it's been a fantastic day. And uh, we had a great meeting with Trucker Jukebox. Thank you for that meeting. And uh, he 
they did give me that uh, hundred dollars for that uh, gift card contest that I won and he also did give uh, the money to take care for JP so we appreciate that that uh, he came through and uh, he cleared that up so no that's all been taken care of so uh, thank you very much there uh, trucker jukebox for doing that and we know you are a good man we definitely uh, had a good uh, discussion over our uh, our dinner and uh, yeah it was a good time I really enjoyed it and uh, we made it up to Portage Wisconsin tonight so that means we should be able to make it home tomorrow but we gotta go to sleep here very soon so otherwise we can't get up early enough to uh, make it home or it would make it really late so uh, I know my voice is uh, really starting to dissipate on me sometimes but especially at night but throughout the day it seems to be a little bit better but at night it seems to be a little bit bad but hey whatever it is we are done for today and we had a good day I hope you guys all had a fantastic day so uh, with that being said we'll catch you again tomorrow so have a good one and be sure to stick around for tomorrow <laughs>